We used to swim naked. No. Yes. We have swam naked once. Not once. Twice. Me only once. <laughs> no, he, what we did, you like sneak into like the high school and it's like, we're going to skinny dip in the pool. And yeah. you do that. We're not doing pool acrobatics, okay? We're not inviting Congress. Dude, what are you going to do when you're 26 years old? What is chief, my dudes? I hope you're having a fantastic Friday, and I hope you're ready for this President's Day celebratory podcast. We have a bunch of random facts about presidents that I didn't know until I... would like I... a moment of silence. Okay. Okay, thank you. That was for all the presidents out there. That's how patriotic I am. Your dog is not patriotic. He Papa sniffed through that well, whole thing. Well, that's a French thing. bulldog. I'm sure Josh was breathing heavily through all of that <laughs> as well, dude. He doesn't give a shit about our country. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so, like I said, we have a bunch of just random facts. Note to Daniel, make the audio really loud when India was making noise right there. Because it, it'll have to get picked up. <laughs> um, Bryce didn't. He just said, random facts... No amount, just... Yeah, next Monday is President's Day. Why is it a holiday? I don't know. Don't we have, like, the election? That's kind of like their party anyways. But we have President's Day for some reason. I, I'd like to start this off with a stat that I thought was fascinating that I looked up. Okay. Um, There have been six presidents who have been shot. Only six? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Assassinated? Uh, Not assassinated. Shot. I think two assassinated. Kennedy... And Lincoln. Lincoln. Okay. Uh, um, what's his face? Fucking Reagan was shot, right? There was a yeah. there was one president who was shot twice. I didn't count that. I count him as one president. I actually but, have two of those. No, oh, I have three of those people on my list. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, but that means six presidents. Thirteen percent of our presidents have been shot. That's a horrible ratio. Can you imagine like signing up for a job, and you sign, you get sworn in. You know, half the country's going to hate you. And hey, there's a 13% chance you're going to get shot. That's insane. Could you imagine, like, any profession you get into? Hey, um, you know, these are the benefits of this job. You get a 401k match. It's great. There's a 13% chance that you might get shot. Um, and you get Mondays off uh, on President's Day. Enjoy that. The like, wild thing is, too, I, I looked. So this isn't deaths. This no, is, it's just getting shot. It's just shootings. But I, I try to look like, okay, is this like as bad as like war, right? In World War II, there were 16 million Americans who served and 405,000 died. That's a 2% ratio. So 2% of all Americans who served died. Damn. I'm pretty sure it's probably 2% of presidents died as well. Like 2 out of 45? India, what are you doing, dude? Well, that's, that's more than 2%. Well, two out of 45? Well, two out of 100 would be 2%. Oh, yeah. There you go. It's more. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Statistically, you can't argue with this. I don't care what your feelings are. Statistically, it's more dangerous to be a U.S. president than a U.S. soldier in World War II. Statistically. We're soldiered in. Wow. Wait, no. We have President's Day already. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's wild. I didn't know that, that that was actually a good... That's a good stat. I saw another stat. It was um, two bullets in World War II collided and, like, went through each other and, like, stayed like this. And it said it was a one in a billion chance that that would happen. That's cool. And it said, name something Name something that has greater chances than that. And someone, like me someone, commented, someone commented, three bullets colliding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's pretty uh, good. That's, that's good. You keyboard warrior, you. Um, okay, so one of my statistics, or statistics, one of my facts, since you brought him up, um, or since you brought it up, uh, one of the people that was shot was Teddy Roosevelt. Didn't know this. Mm. Yeah. Uh, while, uh, like, campaigning, I think. While, and, while giving a speech. Uh-huh. And literally, while he's giving the speech, he had... 50 sheets of paper in his shirt or his jacket, coat pocket and a metal glasses case. Oh, that stopped it? That stopped it. Oh. So he got shot. It went through the glasses case, through the sheets. And then I think it was like right before he went on and then gets up there. And this is this is literally what he said. He goes, friends, I can't do his accent or whatever because I don't know what he sounds Friend? like. I think it's like Southern. Friends. I'm not going to do that. Like KFC Colonel. Oh, 
Well, I said, I said, Fred. Yeah, that's probably pretty accurate. <laughs> you saw the National uh, Nightmare uh, Museum? Not at the museum. <laughs> oh, Night at the Museum. Oh, that's Robin Williams. Yeah, there's... playing Teddy Roosevelt. But there's no accent there. He just kind of sounds like Robin Williams. Oh, bad performance, Robin. <laughs> I mean, not historically accurate. Okay, anyway, uh, he says, Friends, I shall ask you to be as quiet as possible. I don't know whether you fully understand that I've been shot just now, but it takes more than that to kill a bull moose. But fortunately, I had a manuscript. So, you see, I was going to make a long speech, and there's a bullet. There's, well, a bullet that went through it, and it probably saved me from going into my heart. The bullet is in me now, so... I can't make a very long speech, but I will try my best. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> Just fucking went on with it. Um, another fact about Teddy Roosevelt, he actually was trying to appeal to the hunters while he was campaigning to be a president, and they had a, a bear there that he was going to yeah. shoot and kill. He couldn't do it, couldn't bring himself to doing, it, to doing it, and they ended up naming the teddy bear after him, Teddy mm-hmm. Roosevelt. That's so cool. Yeah. So I think it was actually more more like a like making fun of them. What a wimp! Yeah, <laughs> he's just a little teddy bear. He's just a little stuffed bear. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Um, I have one about John Quincy Adams. He was the very first gay president. Like openly gay? Well, hear me out here. Okay, so there we go. John Quincy. I Adams. knew. I fucking. I fucking knew that was coming. I was like, well, hang on. <laughs> John Quincy Adams was an avid swimmer and would swim nude in the <laughs> Potomac River bitch. every morning. He would swim nude in the river every morning, often with a group of congressmen. What's gayer than that? I mean, dude? I was in water polo and swim. All right, were you swimming naked? Sometimes. Really? We used to swim naked. No. Yes. We have swam naked once. Not once. Twice. Me only once. <laughs> no, he, what we did, you like sneak into like the high school and it's like, we're going to skinny dip in the pool. And yeah. you do that. We're not doing pool acrobatics, okay? We're not inviting Congress. Dude, what are you going to do when you're 26 years old? <laughs> what are you going to do when you have a baby and a wife? <laughs> no, to be fair though, we were... Fairly intoxicated. So much so that either you or another person that I won't name. Nope. Someone else. Wee wee. Uh, peed without pulling down their pants. <laughs> and they claimed that it was the same thing as jumping in the pool and peeing. Yeah, which is wild. But, you're, but we're watching him stand there dry fully dogging. clothed and just like... <sighs> <laughs> and it's just, it's just streaming down his legs. And we're like... What are you doing? And then he jumps in the pool after he's like, it's all gone now. I'm like, there's a puddle right there that we're going to walk Gross. through now. Ugh. I mean, we'll, we'll do a poll, but is it better to pee in the pool or pee before you get in and then jump in? Yeah, like the... <laughs> you could say that was showering too, right? Like you'd rather pee in the shower. No, no, no. Than the, like standing in the shower before the water's on. Pee on yourself <laughs> and then turn on the shower. No, but it's different though because this is a pool that you're you're swimming in. Like it's you're in. It's like a bathtub, a giant bathtub. In the shower, it goes straight down the drain pretty much. In the pool, you're sitting there in your own urine. Yeah, I don't abide by that pool etiquette. <laughs> You're just pissing every pool. But probably, like, probably there's <laughs> there's a higher rate of pools I peed in than presidents who have been shot, you know? Cool. You're not ever allowed in our pool. <laughs> I've already christened that bitch. Yeah, I know you have. Plenty of times. There, there's actually been a few times where, I'm not going to name any names, but I know someone who said anytime they touch water, they automatically have to pee. Right oh, away. And so... Guy or girl? It's a person. I can't give it away. It's a girl. Okay. So okay. anyway, we're in the jacuzzi together, like me and three other people, and I'm like, oh, hey, wait a second. This person told me that anytime they get in water, they're peeing. Yeah, so they're peeing. And I was like, oh, they're right next to me. They're just urinating, and it's... I'm like, that's... Jacuzzi is too small. I won't do... I have boundaries. Our jacuzzi is very small. I won't do... And it's never worked. <laughs> I've never been in your jacuzzi while it's working. Oh, no. Now it works. We got a new pump. Oh, oh, yeah? Yeah. No, dude. It's so quick. Oh, come over. It won't work. Two minutes. Hot. All right. Hot. And if it's not, I'll get this person to heat it up a little bit. 
Um, uh, is yeah, so John Quincy Adams swimming naked in the river every morning with congressmen. I don't see that as being gay. I see that as, I mean, is it... Bathing suits existed, though. Yeah, but it's also like a freeing thing. Like, I understand why. Right, so do it by yourself. Like, why? Yeah, I don't know. Inviting other people and be like, hey, Bryce, I'm going to go swim in the uh, English Channel later. Going to do it naked. You want to join? Yeah. Like, no, I'm good, dude. Okay, you're lost. I'll find someone else who will pee standing there fully. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to get shit for that one. <laughs> uh, okay. It's historically true. It is. It's, I'm not, it's, we didn't name any names, though. Uh, okay, so... Taft, I think it's William Howard Taft mm-hmm. is his name. Big boy. Yeah. At his heaviest, he was 340 pounds. Jeez. Big dude. Very this big. This is before elevators and shit. Yeah. You had to walk up those stairs. Holy shit. Um, now, it was rumored, I don't know how much water this holds, pun intended, that he got stuck inside the White House bathtub mm-hmm. and needed a pound of butter to lube him up and pull him out. But then eventually someone said that that's not actually true. It's it was been just his kink. Highly, dis- <laughs> highly disputed that he was stuck, wasn't stuck. Then they got a bigger bathtub. It turns out that they actually ended up getting a better, a bigger bathtub while he was newly in office. And it just so happened that that was what the rumor was. Uh. So maybe it happened, maybe it didn't. But he did have to be helped out of the bathtub every time he was in there. Dude, that's what I'm thinking. Like, did he have someone walking around to help him? Like, helping him up the stairs? Like, yeah, pushing his ass? There were no phones. You couldn't call someone like, Sir, yeah. um, oh I'm in the bathtub. God. Help me out, please. It was like, hello? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> or that person was just standing there watching him bathe. Yeah. Or helping him bathe. And you have to be strong enough to lift a 300... 340 pounds. Pound man. And I mean, you know he's got to be, like, helping himself a little bit. But, like... We're talking like Brendan Fraser in the whale big. Like I haven't was, seen that yet. I want to see it. Neither have I, but seen the preview and he looks <laughs> Neither pretty. Neither have I, but I hope to. I need to what know that days? I have done one good thing in my life. That's what he says. I haven't seen the trailer. I, I need to, to know that I can fit day. in one bathtub in my life. <laughs> that was Taft saying, actually, back in office. <laughs> um, all right, my next one. James Buchanan was the first closeted gay president. Why do you continue to... <laughs> well, this is actually true. Oh, okay. Because uh, James... he was swimming in the English Channel naked? James Buchanan, the 15th president of the U.S., has been subject of speculation regarding his sexual orientation. Buchanan was never married and lived with his close friend and confidant, William Rufus King. That's it. Okay. How do you know that he was gay, though? I For the time, 1850s, if you're not married and you're living with your close male friend... Okay, I got Okay. That's understandable. That's, you might have been the first gay president. That's more understanding than the, the swimming nude guy. Yeah, that was speculative. They're both speculative. But I will say, though, swimming nude with other people every single morning, that's a little different. Mm-hmm. That's... Okay, I, I understand that. Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're just, like, testing the waters. Uh, okay, coming to our one of six presidents, right? Yep. Another one of our six presidents that got shot. Abraham Lincoln. He was actually in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. Really? Yeah. He has 300 matches under his belt, only one of which that he lost. He's so scrawny, though. That's I know, crazy. but he was 6'4". Mm. You got a lot of reach with that. You can you can put someone in a leg lock or whatever. Um on top of that, with his giant, you know, top hat, he used to store documents up there. Oh, that's cool. Like, important documents, because he's like, well, I'm not going to put it in my jacket. Yeah. Um, and then, also, the craziest one of all, I don't know how true this is, but I got it off of a website that says it was true. So, he told his bodyguard the day before he was assassinated that he had a dream he was going to be assassinated. That's weird. Yeah. And could you imagine his body his bodyguard, right? And he's like... Wild. Yeah, dream. wait, was the bodyguard not there at the theater? How'd that happen? I I think that he John Wilkes Booth just came did, up behind him and just enough? Yeah. I think he just bah, Dude, dead. fired. Yeah. Well, I mean, who's gonna fire him? Lincoln? And vice president. Checks out. <laughs> um speaking of Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant. 
dodged a bullet because he was supposed to be with Lincoln at Ford Theater the night of the shooting, but Ulysses S. Grant's wife did not want to go because she didn't like Lincoln's wife. Oh, women, am I right? (laughs) Dude, that beef just saved his life. Dude, spousal beef saved (laughs) Ulysses S. Grant's life. That's awesome. It's crazy. Um, so you mentioned six people that got shot again. I have three of those people on my okay. list. Uh, Ronald Reagan got shot. Yep. Um, that's on camera too. In 1981. And it, during an interview, he said, I forgot to duck. <laughs> and then at another press conference, he was there. And I think either lightning was happening or balloons popped in the background. And right off the bat, he just goes, Oh, Miss me. Yeah. So, so great. Funny. Love that, dude. Like, who comes back from, from an assassination attempt and jokes about it mm-hmm. openly in front of a whole room? That's hilarious. Uh, not one of mine, but fun fact is he almost died on set because he was an actor filming with a chimpanzee. I guess the chimpanzee started attacking him. And just trying to rip his face off? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Jesus. Did you ever see the movie Nope? Nope. Are you being serious? Yep. <laughs> Yeah. God, I, who? What? What's the, what's the guy's name? That Ke- Keegan Michael Keel? Yeah. Or no. Uh, Jordan Peele. Fuck you, Jordan Peele, for making that movie what? name. No, no, the the name. Oh. Because anytime someone references it, they're like, "Oh, have you seen it? Nope. Are you serious? Yup. Oh, I haven't heard that joke. Oh yeah, I have a lot. Original. Uh, right no, no, no. Or or did you like it? Nope. No. <laughs> okay. Um. Apparently, uh. I, I like gun stories and assassination attempts because Andrew Jackson is on here too. Oh yeah. So I actually have four of the six people that He's got like shot. The most assholey president we've had. <clears throat> Andrew Jackson was shot in the chest during a gun duel, but managed to Which stay is standing. Just a thing back in the day, right? Could you imagine that? Like, I don't like you very much. Let's go out in the street and settle this. One of us is gonna die yeah. today. <laughs> hey, babe. <laughs> uh. Just want to say I might not be back for dinner. I know you're pregnant, but uh, <laughs> a man's duty. But he stepped on my <laughs> shoes. You know how much they cost now. <laughs> I can't just pay to get them fixed. It's two pennies. Jesus, actually, it was funny. Two pennies would have bought you like a whole fucking yard of, or a whole uh, acre of land. It's a lot of fucking money, dude. Um, but yeah, so he got shot in the chest, but was still standing and was able to shoot and kill his opponent. And the bullet could not be safely removed from him. So he had that bullet in his chest for 40 years. Lived with that bullet, just like 50 Cent with a bullet in his tongue. That's why he talks weird. 50 Cent has a bullet in his tongue? He got shot like nine times, yeah. And one just in his tongue. Weird, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's still in his tongue or if it was in his tongue and then it came out and it like made his tongue, you know, the muscles react weird. But he talks weird because there was a bullet or is a bullet in his tongue. Mm. And Andrew Jackson is dead. Not because of the bullet, but because he was old. Yeah. Um, putting the heart in Harding. I don't know what that is. William Harding had his sex with his mistress released to the public, but because this was olden times, it was letters released to the public. Ooh. And it was discovered that the President of the United States was nicknaming his penis Jerry. No, dude! <laughs> Not Jerry! <laughs> what's, what's the girl's name? What? The girl's name that he was sending him to. Oh, I don't know. Damn it. Okay, let's just pretend Eleanor. it's Bethany. Or Eleanor. Okay. Eleanor, <laughs> thy rump makes My Jerry, Jerry so stiff. God. That's it's so a, weird. Even hilarious that it was, like, how'd they obtain the letters? Like, it's, it's a letter. It's not a text message. Maybe she was like, dude... <laughs> Check out these letters. You gotta read these. Yeah, this yeah, you is the gotta... fucking president. Trust me. Oh my god. <laughs> or or maybe like how many times are like the president's writing me and it's just some random person uh-huh. sending a letter. But maybe it maybe it wasn't even like sent to her. Maybe yeah. like a carrier pigeon or whatever. Or Dude, old school catfishing had to be so easy. Probably. I mean, I doubt people did it as much as they do now. Yeah. But yeah, they're just like, this is Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Trust me. I wouldn't lie to you. He wants me to send him $20 a month. (laughs) Send nudes. (laughs) Those are all mine. All I have. That's all I had. I got a couple more. Let's see. 
Um, who hates the squirrels? Eisenhower. He banned squirrels from the White House lawn and had Secret Service uh, dump them off in a nearby park. I feel like I remember that. Because he didn't want the putting green uh, obstructed. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this one. Uh, Bill Clinton's a creep. Well, yeah. It is reported that Clinton took a total of 26 flights on Epstein's private jet between 2002 and 2003. 26 flights. 26 so that's, flights. That's one year. 26 flights. That's... That's... It's a fifth of the year. If that's one... That's, that's like... 126 uh, out of 100. Half, that's one every two weeks. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, he has stated that he has only ever took four flights uh, to <laughs> random places. But, I mean, there's the flight records that show it. And this got me thinking, like... Poor Monica Lewinsky, dude. The girl that uh, uh-huh. that was, uh, whatever, gave the head to the president. And she was kind of, like, scapegoated. And then he was like, I'm sorry. And then he's like, this nice guy. This lady just got, like, duped by a creep who we find out is doing all this shit. And then, like, America hates this girl. That's mm-hmm. crazy. What I think is even more crazy is that, like, that Epstein shit has just fallen by the wayside. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like no one really talks about it anymore. Pushed under the rug. Uh-huh. But yeah, that's that's a lot of flights, dude, in one year. I haven't taken that many flights in like my life, maybe. I I don't think I've been to your house that many times. No. Twenty six. That's crazy. Holy crap. And I was trying to look up like around the two thousand two, two thousand three was there like reported activity of this shit happening. And there's not really there's like I think oh five was the first like case I got brought against them, but that doesn't mean it wasn't happening before. Because it's like, uh, it's that's obviously something strange there, and it's just never going to get uncovered. Bill Clinton will die in like five to ten years, and that'll be that. But there's other people that went to the islands, too. Yeah, but they're not like Bill Clinton status. True. Like Chris Tucker and shit. Like these Chris are, Tucker went there? I'm pretty sure. No, dude. That sucks. I heard somewhere that Tom Hanks went there, too. Hmm. I hope that's not true. I really hope it's not. Because he's a, he's a legend. I also heard, though, that Tom Hanks is getting two of two acting awards for the worst acting in a movie this year. Oh, it was like, like Razzie's? Or yeah, that? it was like Pinocchio and, and Elvis because of his fucking atrocious accent. I never saw it, but I heard his accent was really bad. Is it a southern accent? Yeah. Oh, I feel like he's good with accents. He was bad? Not that one. Huh. He's getting a Razzie for it. <laughs> That's awesome. You know what's funny, though? Like, Could you imagine... Being a waitress. We should do a Razzie episode. Want to do those? Yeah, episodes? that's not probably bad. like around the Oscars. You know, I, I got you. Um, but nope. they, they don't have they don't have like awards for like worst waitress. If you're a bad waitress, you get fired. Yeah. <laughs> like Razzie, they're like you don't get another chance. You you did your best, and you still got paid a lot of money, but you sucked in it. Well, Here's yeah. I mean, award. when it's a bad actor, they're kind of done. Mm-hmm. But if it's a well-known actor. Then it's like you're And not. what's crazy, though, is like when you see that, they get more praise for it later because then people watch it to be like, well, I want to see how bad the uh-huh. acting was. The Razzies are actually pretty smart now that I think about it because you're going to like milk that movie as much as you can. I see you. I see you. I see you, Razzies. I see you, Razzies. I right, want to wrap this one up. Let's Razzie it up. Guys, enjoy President's Day. Remember... That you're lucky to have a job where you don't have a 13% chance of getting shot. And think about the people that are getting shot. Enjoy your weekend. We love you. We'll be back next week. From all of us here at the Chiefin Podcast, keep it Chiefin. Keep it Chiefin. Cool. Barely got that off in time. Ah, my ass. Good sewed, guys.